Hey guys, so today we're looking at If I Can't Have You from Shawn Mendes. Um, it's a pretty easy to intermediate song. There is um, this uh, fast picking part in the verse that is probably the hardest bit of the song. Other than that, it's only four chords, uh, three chords in the chorus, four chords in the verse. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Uh, and let's jump right into it. So having a look at the chorus, you will only need three chords. Um, the first one is a G. Then you've got an F sharp minor. And then you've got an E minor. So if you're playing on an acoustic guitar, um, you could also play these chords the standard way. So you could play the G like this. Uh, for the F sharp minor, um, what I recommend you do is um, just do a, a D bass and uh, add the D sharp on the bass. So it's going to go something like this. And uh, lastly, the E minor doesn't change. So yeah, that's two methods. So the, the one I prefer, especially uh, when you play on an electric guitar, is the first one with bar chord. Which I think uh, matches the song better. This one's cool as well. So especially if you play on an acoustic guitar, uh, you can consider that. But it doesn't change um, the rhythm anyway. So I'll go uh, and move on to the rhythm and the, the pattern uh, with this chorus for the chorus. So it goes like this. So maybe just start with one note, um, the first note of each chord, and try to identify the actual rhythm. So it goes like this. And then you go into the verse. So with the real chords, the full chords, it would uh, go something like this. So if you want to use the acoustic style version of these chords, uh, it would go like this. So again, it's uh, probably actually easier um, playing the acoustic version, but I really think um, playing the, the bar version for the uh, electric guitar works better. So moving on to the verse, uh, you're pretty much using the same chords here. So instead of having three chords, you have four. And the one that you're gonna add is the B minor. So it starts with a G, the pattern starts with a G. Then you've got the F sharp minor. Then you've got the B. Then you've got E. And then F sharp minor. Uh, so obviously the rhythm is completely different through the verse, so we're going to go through that. So for the picking, it's pretty simple. You just have three notes to play for each chord. And it's very, it's the same picking actually for each chord. Uh, you want to palm mute uh, through the whole thing. The whole uh, picking is palm mute, so just um, use your palm to slightly mute the, the strings as you play them. So try to have this type of sound. So we start with the G. Mm -hmm. 
I recommend going uh, down, down, up. So now I'm gonna go and do the whole thing uh, slower. Alright, so you might have realized that something's missing in the version that I've been um, showing you and you'd be right, so there is um, a slight variation that you could do and that is included in the song and it's on the G chord, so on the G chord what's happening is instead of doing this three simple uh, picking play the first string um, on, the, on the third fret and then second string on the fifth fret so that's the two normal notes and then, um, with your first finger, you can uh, you can go on the fourth string, sorry, and second fret, and do a hammer on on the fourth. So it goes like this. I'll go slower, slower, sorry. And that happens only for the G. All right, so um, that's it for today's tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one.